Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Next, I like to show you that how to install this Honda Civic cars, this crankshaft puller wheel in right way. And first step is to check that what kind of items we have when we are planning to install this uh, crankshaft puller wheel back. And first one is of course this crankshaft puller wheel. And there is idea that this crankshaft puller wheel goes only in one way in this position. And it's easy to remember that when we look that crankshaft puller wheel that there is three of those uh, these uh, wheel lines and there is always that this bigger line what is in this big line it goes to inner area. And also there are when we look that side in this inner area there are those cuttings and holes and these holes are those uh, timing timing marks in here and those timing marks they are not ever in this outer field and this outer field is always small okay and then we know that in that way we install that and then there is interesting thing in this Honda Civic that there is this locking uh, plate what position is this hole in here and we need that specific locking plate what is in my hand in here look that and this is this is this critical part and if we lost that there is no worry we need to only go to visit in Honda dealership center and they sell this new part and this is really critical part we can't do any any self-time made, made fix like in this uh, electric cable like in that way that this is similar no this is extremely hard steel this part this is so durable and then there is another thing that this this plate is specific shape look this is this is like this length is bigger than height and that means that when we install this locking plate in that hole that it goes in there in two way in that way like in this length way or then when I rotate that little bit in, in that way what is this height position and remember that position is, is right that it this plate goes like in flat flat way flat way in that way this is flatter in that way and then when I rotate that little bit it is in this high position look no ever in this high position always in this flat position in this this crankshaft will feel in that way and this is one common mistake when we work in some areas like garden or forest or then in rainy place that we missed to install that locking plate in right way because it is now almost right in this height position, high position but this is wrong way because if we install that in that way we can't install then this field okay and then second third thing is that we need to install always this timing belt this support plate in this position and then remember this plate goes only in one way and here is like my Timing, timing belt what is in here and, and we can see that that my support plate comes in this position and it, it goes actually so that when we start to install these parts this is the first part and actually we have this timing belt in here and then we install that plate in here and then next part is that feel and it goes in that way that when we look in here that first we have this timing belt then this supporting plate and then this crankshaft puller wheel and final part is this bolt and of course this locking pin in this crankshaft puller wheel and then this plate what is this timing timing belt support plate it goes so that it is little bit curve when we look it is not plain it is a little bit curved and that area what is shape is like in that way in this way it goes in outer area and when we have this timing belt in position 
it goes in that way and then this curve is like that way. Not ever so that we rotate that in this way and then this curve is like inside. Because if this curve is inside then it cuts this our timing bed. Look, there's small something like one millimeter difference between this central area in here and then this outer area. This outer area is like one millimeter deeper and this central area is like upper. And then final step what we need to do is to insert this this crankshaft puller bolt and nut and remember this bolt must be really 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 tight. It is the I think that the most tightest bolt in Honda engine and for that tightening we need specific torque reference tool and we need to set up in here force what is 190 newton meters. This setup happens so that I rotate this adjusting bolt and then when I move that this this part moves in upper I need to rotate that almost in 200 and it is huge force, huge force. Now I rotate and let's look there is now 100 and then I add more Soon we have the two, 190. Okay, and now there is this 190 newton meters. And it is in LPF feet something like 130 LPF feet force. And this is very important that we remember to fasten that bolt in right way. Because if we missed to fasten that bolt, then there is this risk that that this timing belt finally drops out in this in this field, field position and then we have engine failure. Remember these things that first this uh, I, I do that again this hints this in the first place in the right place in here and then we remember to install that that metallic locking locking pin in right position and then of course this support plate is right way and then final step is to lock that system and then we go to install that in this Honda Civic engine and let's look closer how to install that wheel okay and there is my disposition and there is timing belt is already in position and let's go to look at what it looks like where is this timing belt there we can see that timing Oh, sorry, timing belt is in position and there is tensioner and, and also these camshaft things and there is water pump in that area. And now I am planning to insert that this uh, crankshaft puller feel in back and for that purpose we look in a little bit upper and I take better view because we need to look also this locking plate and there is this locking pin is just in this upper position we can see that there is this locking pin hole and first step is when we start to install this this uh, crankshaft puller feel in this position is to insert in here this uh, belt support plate in here And here is this my support plate and, and it's good to remember to install that in right place that this curve what is in that shape it comes in outer part in that way. And now it's in position and then I have this my locking pin and look that I need to install that in flat place not in this height position flat and, and then when this when we have installed that, that locking pin in this upper area, this is easy to install in here, in that way. This is actually only good position to install. And what to do then if you have this, this hole in here down area, what to do then? Then we need to rotate that in somehow and it is easy to rotate when we install that locking pin in there. And then we install 
this crankshaft puller wheel in back in here and there is now this hole it is in up one okay and then that how to rotate there is this blocking plate in position and then I take this my crankshaft puller wheel and there is this hole in this upper area it is easy to see that there is this hole and then when we install that hole in this up area in that way in carefully and we check that everything goes nicely in that way it is easy to install and then I only little bit okay now now and in that way when I little bit move that and I press and now when it is not open nicely there is some issue that I think that is this my locking plate in right position okay now it's wrong and now it's right okay good and then I try again okay now this cranks that pull uh, feel went nicely and in that position we can rotate that in this way and rotate that locking plates position and now it's in there and then when I take that away now this locking pin is different position okay but then when I continue this my crankshaft puller with installation then I install that part in back in the test bay and then final part is to remember to install this locking plate bolt in there and then when we have fastened that bolt enough we need to fasten that central bolt and this happens so that we take 17 mm socket and then little bit longer bars and then we install this our talk reference tool in here in that position and then we need to only fasten that bolt in this about 9 190 newton meters and it's big force and then when we hear this click everything is fine okay and this was this information that how to install in right way this crankshaft puller feel and the car was Honda Civic and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you